Welcome students. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss an important limit of function of two variables. Its limit x y approaches to zero comma zero y log of x squared plus y squared. In order to evaluate this limit, we first transform this function into polar coordinates and then solve it. First, I rewrite this limit. Limit x y approaches to zero. x y approaches to zero comma zero. Y log of x square plus y square. This is our given function. Equation number one. In polar coordinate, x is equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin theta. So let x is equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin theta. We need x square plus y square, so x square plus y square is equal to r square cos square theta. Plus r square sine square of theta, and this is equal to r square cos square theta plus sine square theta cos square theta plus sine square of theta. As cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to one, so this is equal to r square and to one. The reason is sine square theta or cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to one. Which implies x square plus y square is equal to r square. X square plus y square is equal to r square. Also, its limit changes because when x y approaches to zero comma zero, when x y approaches to zero zero, then r approaches to zero as R is equal to R square is equal to X square plus Y square. When X and Y approaches to zero, then R is equal to R approaches to zero. Now equation one becomes one becomes and one X Y approaches to zero means R approaches to zero. Y equal to R sine theta and X square plus Y square means R square. So one becomes limit R approaches to zero. Limit r approaches to zero. R sine theta. R sine theta, which is the value of y. R sine theta and log of r square. Log of r square, and it can also be written as limit r approaches to zero by using property of logarithm. Log of r square is equal to two log of r. So it can be written as 2r sine theta, 2r sine theta, log of r. Now we have to find this limit. We have to find limit of this function. Now, students, consider. This portion of this function, excluding this constant, as mod of any number is greater than or equal to zero, so we can write zero less than or equal to mod of r sine theta, r sine theta, log of r. Reason is since mod of any number is greater than or equal to zero, which implies. A zero is less than or equal to r sine theta log of r whole mod, and it can also be written as sine theta mod 
sin theta mod and r log of r mod into mod of r log of r. The reason is and mod of a b mod of a b is equal to mod of a mod of b which implies zero is less than or equal to r sin theta log of r mod now mod of sin theta is less than or equal to 1 so this limit is less than or equal to r uh, r log of r r log of r mod r log of mod r mod into 1 1 so reason is mod of sin theta is less than or equal to 1 now uh, students we have to find this limit as lower bound of this function is 0 if we succeed to prove the limit of this function r log of r equal to 0 then by sandwich theorem or squeeze theorem we can write as limit of this function is equal to 0 now we prove limit of this function is equal to 0 limit r approaches to 0 r log of r is equal to limit r approaches to 0 it can be written as log of r by shifting this term and to denominator this is equal to 1 upon r log of r infinity so this is indeterminate form so by an hospital rule by an hospital rule its limit becomes and this is equal to limit r approaches to 0 by differentiating numerator and denominator derivative of log of r is 1 upon r and derivative of 1 upon r is minus 1 upon r square minus 1 upon r square which implies and this limit is equal to limit r approaches to 0 minus 1 upon r by shifting this term into numerator this is becomes r square and this is equal to limit r approaches to 0 minus r and clearly this limit is equal to 0 which implies limit r approaches to 0 r log of r is equal to 0. Now by squeeze theorem we can write the limit of this function is equal to 0. So by squeeze theorem or by sandwich theorem by sandwich theorem limit of the function r sin theta log of r is equal to 0 limit r approaches to 0 r sin theta log of r is equal to 0 now we have to prove this limit equal to 0 by multiplying it by 2 this limit is also equal to 0 which implies limit r approaches to 0 2 r sin theta log of r is equal to 0 and this is basically polar form of given a function so we can write implies limit x y approaches to 0 comma 0 y log of x square 
plus y square is equal to 0. If you like this video, so don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you very much.